Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Blackwell Epiphany. It's your boy Calibre Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. So last episode, we found out the name of... Maybe homeboy's girlfriend, Leah Piero. We've been to the church, we've asked Sam about it. Uh, we've also gone back to George's place, but we haven't gotten any information, so I'm assuming... How about we visit her desk real quick? We can find any information there. This thing with you standing around, it's getting kind of weird. Get used to it. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is your desk. Ah, oh, we didn't get this view before. Who do we have hmm, here? Cute kid. It's one of those computer things. Looks like it's powered down. I assume it's a telephone, although it's hard to tell these days. This looks important. The journal is labeled Midtown Jaywalking Citations 2001 to 2004. Interesting light reading. This folder seems to be full of old expense reports. Too many to go through even if I could open it. Yep, this is Leah Piero's desk, all right. Astoria, NY. Okay, now that we have an address, is there anything else? Did I miss anything? Oh, wait. Computer, folder. Can I check in her drawers? No, I can't. Okay, that said, let's leave. I told you, I'm waiting for a cab. And now I changed my mind. I'm leaving now. Hey. What? I don't know where you're going, and I ain't gonna ask. Just don't step on any toes, okay? We cops can get pretty touchy when it concerns one of our own. Oh, I'm stomping on all the toes. Yeah, so do I. What did you mean by that? Exactly what it sounded like. Whoever George was, he was one of us. One us? of us! Yeah. One of us! Come on. It's a long way to Astoria. So, this is what a cop's salary gets you, huh? A two-story in Astoria. It's not bad. Nicer than some of the foster homes I grew up in. Anyway, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we both know the drill by now. A two-story, yeah. I'll be Whoever made night. this snowman made it a long time ago. Several weeks, at least. I think one of my old foster homes had a tire swing, but it was so long ago, I don't remember. It's hard to see inside, but I think I can see living room furniture. Wouldn't it be some shit if she's dead? The mailbox dead? is a bit iced over, but shouldn't be too hard to open. I mean... I don't have much coffee... Fine. That's way too heavy for me to pick up. Then again, so is a pencil. Just a mailbox. Would you like to nip inside, keep it? Ah. Uh, Anything? Seems quiet so far. Let me look around. I don't know why. But I'm getting the cat lady vibes here. There's only one key on the key rack. The label on it says Emil. Emil. Painting of some old guy looking out a window. Don't know if it's art or not, but it's okay. A dresser with some random knickknacks on top, nothing relevant. One of the many variations of phone. Well put. It's a door, what can I say? Looks to be some drawing of a little girl. I don't know much about these computer things, but it looks powered down. Cute, but uh, I don't know the first thing about dollhouses. That bear looks like it's been sat on more than played with. It's a stuffed globe of the earth. A shirt in the middle of the floor. Some kind of stuffed octopus. You see that frequency of voice? Like... Listen to this. Some kind of stuffed octopus. And then listen to this. A shirt in the middle of the floor. He's lacking some bass in his voice in the other one. I can't see inside, but it looks like a Valentine's Day card. Seems to be in good shape. Okay, so I don't presume there to be much here, but... Let's... I'm not just gonna blow on everything I see. You will if I ask you to, bro. It's a stuffed panda. Some kind of stuffed octopus. Blow on him. All right. It's a picture of the Manhattan skyline. 
I guess if you live out here in Queens, you'd want a memento of civilization. Damn. Just a light switch. What you got? Hello? Yeah? Is anybody there? Oh, no. Who are you? Mister? Are you looking for my mom? Uh, I... Yes. Is she around? Uh-huh. I have to practice. Sorry. Damn, man. Damn it. It's just a fridge humming quietly. KK the Troll. KK the Troll. Cute. Nah, that makes me a little sad. A painting of a vase of flowers. Why do people paint these things? Damn, this place looks abandoned, if anything. An old fuse box. Damn it! Planks of wood left over from some sort of building project. Just an empty shelf. What's a that? blown light bulb. Just a poster for some old junk car. A painting of some miserable old dame in a crinoline. In a what? A Christmas tree. Plastic, naturally. The only light in this room is coming from the street lamp outside that window. Some half-empty old plastic bottles. A kid's bike with a crumpled front wheel. Just a bedroom, pretty sparsely furnished. Nothing useful in here. She looks 10, maybe 11. Too damn young either way. Excuse me. Oh, hi. I'm practicing. I can see that. You're pretty good. Thanks. I'll only be a minute, then you can get back to it. Well, okay. My name is Joey. My name's Joey. What's yours? Are you sure you should be here? Sure. I'm Kendra Haskins. Kendra Haskins? Huh. Are you here all alone? No. Mom's here. Are you sure? I can't find her. I'm pretty sure. I'd know if she was gone. Maybe... She's part of the family that used to live here before... Leah? What about your dad? Is he around? No. He's <laughs> late. Late? Late for what? Picking me up. On Fridays we go to the Abacus, and then I live with him until Monday. But he's late. Abacus. You said you go to the Abacus. It's his work. Your dad takes you to work? Mm-hmm. He's the boss. Your dad's the boss, huh? He must be a very important man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Can you tell me anything else about this Abacus place? It's dad's work. TVs and computers and stuff. He lets me play with them when nobody's around. No, not this time. Not with her. Besides, it's not like that line ever works anyway. Got me there. Kendra, I need you to tell me the last thing you remember. Why? Just humor me. Um, I was coming home from school and... Uh, on your bike? I came here. That's it. Are you sure? Yes. I've been waiting for my dad. Mm, come with me. Do you know George Austin? You mean Mom's friend? Yeah. He's okay. Mom likes him. But you don't. Dunno. Hmm, interesting. Can you anything tell else? me anything about George? He comes here and I'm with Dad. I found some of his socks in the hamper. It was really gross. Hmm. Anything else? Can you tell me? He comes here and I found... It was really... Yeah. Do you ever go to Grace Church? No, but Mom does. She does? She used to go a lot. Not anymore, though. I wonder why. I'm looking for Leah, your mother. Any idea where she could be? She should be here. I'd know if she wasn't. I'm looking for Leah. She should be. Tell me about yourself, Kendra. Dunno. Oh, well, thanks. So, where is this abacus? Near the subway. Right. Uh, do you know which subway? Um, no, sorry. That's all right, we'll figure it out. We always do. Okay. Come with me. Hey, kiddo. I'd like you to come with me. Um, 
Why? Exactly why. Um... <clears throat> I'm gonna take you to your dad. Dad? Yeah, he couldn't make it, so I was asked to take you. What should I have for breakfast? Hey? Breakfast? What should I have for breakfast? I have no idea. Mmm, I have to practice. Ah, uh, is that- is that his security? Got you. That's a security question, right? Okay. Alright. KK the cute. What should I have for breakfast? It's just a fridge. Wanna nip inside? No, hold on. I guess it. there's nothing stopping me from doing that except for my nearly complete lack of physical existence. Hmm. Can we blow on this key? I'm not just fine. Okay. Joey, you all right? Yeah, sure, whatever. We got a spook. Is it Leah Piero? No, it's her daughter, a little girl. I see. How old? Ten, maybe eleven. And she's okay? You mean, besides being dead? Yeah, she's playing the piano. Well. Yeah, well. Let's talk. Joey. What is it this time? It's hard to believe a house like this costs as much as my tiny room in the city. Thinking of moving? God, no. We couldn't save George Austin, but we can stop it from happening I think we've to heard anybody this before. with pleasure. How about Leah Whoever Leah is, she definitely knows George. Hopefully she can tell us more about him. That little girl. She's hiding from something. Burying herself in creativity. Really? I kind of know the signs. You said Kendra's father is the boss of a place called the Abacus. That's what she said. Well, let's go ahead and Google that place then. Abacus. Had a feeling that wouldn't work. I'm gonna need to be more specific. Okay. There's a letter in here. Oh, sweet. It was wet and stuck to the side of the mailbox, but I got it. What do you have? This letter is soaking wet. It's practically falling apart in my hands. Okay, the wired abacus then. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Abacus. Ah! The first choice in consumer electronics has finally come to New York. All right, we got a we got an address. Let's hit that place up. So Kendra's dad is the boss of this place? This is just a bunch of junk. Union Square is usually filled with people at all hours. Not tonight though. I remember that old cartoon. It must be on DVD now or something. Huh, hold on now. Flat screen television. You could probably fuck with that, like, fuck with the reception of that, so that might come in handy. There's a new model already? Big. The tag on his shirt says Jordan. Alright, let's talk to Jordan then. Hi there. Hi, can I help you? I'm surprised you're open with the weather this bad. Yeah, me too. Gotta get but paid. I only live two blocks away, and I could use the overtime. I'm looking for the manager. Emil Haskins, I think his name is. Mr. Haskins? He's not in. Taking time off for personal stuff, I think. I'm not sure when he'll be back. Thanks. Sure. Looks like a controller for a game console. Not sure which one. Ah, uh, that looks ominous. A all bunch right. of meetings and appointments are written down on this thing. Nothing really stands out, but the weekends are all labeled Kendra. Still? A bunch of discarded papers. A bunch of ledgers stacked up against the wall. Interesting reading for some people, but not to me. Someone wrote quarterly earnings on the cover. Positively riveting. 
It's a trash can. Pretty typical as these things go. Boxes of office junk. Don't know what's inside. Boxes of... Yeah. The light barely pierces the gloom. It says, call Joe. I have no idea who that could be. Joe. Mm. The tag has Leah Piero's address on it. Best guess, it's the key to her house. Looks like an internal memo, some kind of technical stuff. It's all Greek to me. Some kind of animation is playing. I think Red calls this a screen saver. Whatever it is, I'm glad I don't have a stomach anymore. Hmm. I don't know much about these moose things, but I've seen <laughs> Red use them often enough. It's a phone or some variation thereof. Looks like an inter- All right, call Joe. How about we mention this Joe? homeboy hi again mm-hmm is there a way I can get into the manager's office um did he give you permission to go in there yes 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 he did oh then he should have given you the code code yeah for the keypad next to the door keypad next to the door you wouldn't know what the code to the door is no nobody ever told it to me sorry well shit thanks sure Hmm. Do we have any numbers in here? It says, I have no idea. Call Joe. Maybe. Screensaver, be gone. Huh. Whatever I did, it worked. Exit to your house. So. What? Uh, what a surprise! Nothing happens. Do have a keyword though? Maybe we can uh, find out more information from there. Go over to Emil's place by searching for. Uh, impeccably maintained, full service, pet friendly co op building. A prime village location. Building allows co signers, guarantors, and pied a terre. I don't know what the fuck that means. Butcher! Let's go. It leads to a small fire escape. It's frosted on the inside. I can't see through. But it does look like someone's inside. It's the front door. Pretty solid. Sweet. It says Exeter House. Emil seems to be on the fifth floor. Let's give him a call. Here he is, Emil Haskins. Hello? Hi, is this Emil? Yes, that's me. Who is this? My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Could I come in? I'd like to ask you some questions. You mean there's been progress? I'm... I'm not sure. I'm just trying to learn what happened. You're not with the police? No, they won't talk to me. I'm hoping you will. They won't talk to me either. Come on up. Rosangela Blackwell, was it? Yes, that's me. Come on in. I should have guessed you weren't with the police. I've spoken to enough cops lately to know the difference. So, you said you're trying to learn what happened? What exactly do you know? Well, Kendra's dead. I know that Kendra is dead. I'm sorry. What? No. We don't know that. Nobody oh. knows that. Not yet. Someone took her and she's missing. Not dead. I... Uh -huh. uh, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. The police might have given up on her, but I haven't. She's out there. Somewhere. I know it. I'm sorry, brother, but, um, damn, that's gonna be rough. Anyway, George Austin was killed. George Austin was killed last night. What? George is dead? You didn't know? No, of course not. You think the police tell the ex-husband anything? 
ex-wife and daughter go missing. I'm suspect number one. How did it happen? Ex-wife? He was shot. Shot? Jesus. I can't say I liked the guy. Leah dumped me for him after all, but Jesus. I always figured he was into something shady, but I thought it was more white collar. Insider trading or whatever. But someone shooting him? That's like mob stuff. Is that what's going on? Was he in the mob? I don't know. Jesus, Leah, some police detective you are hooking up with a mobster. I don't know if that's what happened. I hope not. If it did, I'll never forgive her. I don't care. You work at the Wired Abacus? Yeah, real glamorous, right? I wouldn't know. It's a job, is all I can say. I'm able to afford the rent on this shoebox apartment, at least. How well did you know George Austin? Leah's the one who knew him. They've been friends for years. She talked about him sometimes. What did she say? Well, that's the thing. I got the impression he was kind of a loser. A loser? No career, living with his parents, that kind of thing. She felt bad for him. But then we get divorced and he turns up wearing designer suits and living in a penthouse. And I'm living in this shoebox. Anything else? Is there anything else you can tell me about George? No. I don't want to think about him. I just... Ugh, I just can't. How about Grace Church? Are you familiar with Grace Church? Me? No. But Leah used to go there before we were married. She was really hung up on the place. What did you do when Leah disappeared? Got grilled by the cops for three days. Even though there was no way I could have done it. I was at work and I don't know if you've been to that store, but it's got cameras everywhere. But I just stood by and took the abuse. Just on the off chance I would say something that could help them. Obviously, I didn't. Anything else? How did you and Leah meet? I met her about 15 years ago. She was just a beat cop then. I was working for a small startup trying to make it big. Our office got robbed and she showed up to take a statement. It was love at first sight or something anyway. We were married for about 10 years, been divorced for about five. What's a beat cop? Can you tell me anything else about Leah? What else can I say? Great cop, good mother, passable wife. Passable wife. That about covers it. Hmm. How did you find out Kendra was missing? Her school called. The same day her mother didn't show up for work. They thought she was with me. I wish she was. Do the police know anything? No. Not that they would tell me if they did. Can you tell me anything about yourself? Is it relevant? Well, it could be. Hmm. Well, I'm a tech nerd. Worked for a bunch of startups back in the late 90s. Now I work at a chain store. Moved into this place about five years ago. Rented it from some Indian lady. Rent in this city is Nishanti? highway robbery, but there's no way I'm moving further away from my little girl. Can you tell me anything else about yourself? Tech nerd, ex-husband, father. That's pretty much it. Got you. Well, I'll see you later, Emil. Yeah, sure. See ya. Hey, wait, why are you doing this? You said you weren't with the police, so why? There's much more at stake. Maybe. I, I don't care about the big picture. Can you help her or not? I'll try. Yes. It's what I do. Poor guy. He's grieving, and he doesn't even know it yet. <sighs> it never gets easier. So, what's your reckon? Sec? You rang? What do you think? I wonder if there's anything inside Emil's apartment that can help us. Can't hurt to look around. Let's snip inside real quick then. Where did it go? What's in the back that room? That thing needs a date with a needle and thread, or a fireplace. Hmm. Lots of books on accounting and business management. Oh, and a couple of comic books. Some kind of oil painting, I think. I can't tell what it's supposed to be. A phone, I think. It's hard to tell these days. No, 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 no! Oh, sh I didn't want- I wasn't ready. Emil is in here, lying on the bed and staring at the ceiling. I should just leave him alone. It's a very odd placement for a chair. It's Emil. He looks leagues different than the sad sack we've been talking to. That's definitely the little girl I saw. I guess that hat belongs to her mother. He is a cop, all right. She must have still been a beat cop when this was taken. 
Hmm. What else? I don't know if there's anything else of interest here. Are we good? I got something to say. What is it, say Joey? Maybe I should snoop around. Oh, so you weren't done. Hmm. End the conversation, please. About to blow on this. I'm not just gonna. Uh, I'm not just. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just. Damn it! Emil. I should. We can't go inside. Emil. No. I should just. Hmm. Can't do much. Wait! Look at it again. 1029. That might be it. Go. That took me a damn while. But we got it, damn it. Let's uh, exit. Yeah, buddy. All right. Let's see what we got up in this. They look like now. account ledgers. Piles of discarded papers. They don't seem relevant. Emil's calendar is full of various meetings, appointments, and due dates. None of it means anything to me, but he's labeled every weekend with the word Kendra. It says call Joe. It's According nice to the label, this is a key to Leah's house. According to the label, this should get me into Leah Piero's house. I'd better leave the Huh, another my phone upgrade is coming out in six months. Didn't one just come out last week? I don't know if we have anything else we I want don't to do need here. We got the key. Oh. From J Leader. Leah might be just a police officer, but she has a secure and stable income. You do not. Your promotion to manager of the new abacus is a good first step. Keep at it for a few more years, then we can talk about getting more custody. Ah. You sure about this online game, Trollgate or whatever it's called? Do I have to tell you about all the creeps that hang out online? She's determined to play the theme on the piano, so there's that at least. Trollgate. Perhaps it's harmless. You know more about this stuff than me. Just make sure she doesn't do anything stupid, okay? Hmm. Trollgate then. Uh, Emil, got a new shipment of the parental eye software coming your way. Could you try to upsell it? Maybe, to, maybe to overly paranoid NYU parents. The boss is desperate to get rid of the stuff. Mark it down to whatever you want. For all, ne yeah, Toma, right? There it is. Yo, Emil. I got a copy of that parental eye software you recommended. I installed it on Kendra's computer, and now my computer and yours can read her email. You just need to install it on your office computer and you're in the business. Huh. Sigh. Maybe you're right. This is a huge breach of trust. And she would kill me if she found out. She's a smart kid. I'm sure she can handle cyberspace. In this respect, she's more your daughter than mine. What? Yeah, okay. Install it if you want to, but I'm out. Oh. No, I have no idea who Tomo is. You're supposed to be in charge. If you can't control your own office spam, maybe we should get someone who can. Huge favor to ask. Can you pick Kendra up a bit early tonight? George and I have theater tickets and the show starts earlier than we thought. Uh, we're swamped here today. I'm not sure I can get away early. Can you drop her off here? Fine. We'll drop her off at the Abacus. It's only heavy midtown traffic and 40 blocks out of our way. Great. Good job. Kendra Haskins. I got it. I can play the tune from Trollgate. No sheet music or anything. I'll play it for you this weekend. Ha. Oh, Sam Durkin. I understand the frustration, Mr. Haskins, but I have to ask you to stop phoning our office. 
We're just as concerned with finding Officer Piera and Kendra as you are. This is our job. As soon as we know anything, you will be the first to know. I know we don't see eye to eye, but what kind of monster do you take me for? I had nothing to do with whatever happened to Leah, and I would never harm that little girl. I will assume it's fear and frustration and possibly alcohol talking, and leave it at that. Hmm. Uh, what was that thing you called? Parental eye? How do we install it? Or do I have to install it on my phone? I don't want to do that. New. Whoa. I'm, I've been missing these. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Back. Before we get into that. No results found. Damn it. Uh, let's go back. I am representing Hannah Sharp in her divorce trial. Okay. So we have read that one. This one though? We did read that one as well. So is this the new one? Thomas. Yep. Uh, do do do. Sometimes this J letter guy is probably gonna be important later on. How about you? Uh, hello from the Kerala backwaters. It is hot here, but at least there are lots of cool lakes. Good thing Moti can swim. Hey, how's the weather in NY? I hope you are keeping warm. I know I am, Nishanti. Glad you're fine. Oh, okay. How do we get this parental eye thing? Hmm. I will use the mouse when I need to. Alright, uh, how about now? How do we get... How do we get the uh, parental eye thing? Call I don't John. see why I'd need that note. Ah, uh, but we're gonna have her... We're gonna have access to her computer, so maybe we can peep it from there? I don't know. Troll gate, though. Okay, we have a lot of good leads here. But what I think we're gonna do right now, we're gonna call it an episode. Next episode, we are gonna go to Piero's house and talk to Kendra. See what we can find out in their residence, alright? Until then, this has been your boy, Color Gaming. I'm out of here. Love y'all, and deuces.